Hello, Steve Dennis here, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the power of the law of thinking. Are you ready? Then let's grow. Hello, hey, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is Steve Dennis, and I'm excited today to talk with you about a subject matter that I know without a doubt is gonna be impactful. It's gonna help you in every area of your life. Have you ever wondered how your thoughts, for an example, how your thoughts shape your reality? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna share some things with you today that's gonna to show you uh, with this topic we're gonna discuss called the law of thinking, okay? The law of thinking. Now, why is that important? Get this game real quickly. Experts say that you need to hear something three times before you recognize the information. You need to hear it three times before you recognize the information. Experts also say that you need to hear something seven to eight times before you will believe it. Seven to eight times before you believe it. So today, as we talk about the law of thinking, you're going to hear me repeat it over and over and over again. I love this concept because repetition happens to be the mother of all skill. So the law of thinking happens to be a fundament, fundamental principle that suggests that our thoughts have a profound impact on our lives, basically shaping our experiences and our outcomes. So for an example, have you ever had a thought in your mind that you gave an interpretation to a certain situation in your life and before you knew it, you walked around in a real down way. In other words, you felt loaded and heavy, had, had a heavy weight on you because of your thoughts about a bad experience. Okay. So basically, with that being said, as we talk about this law of thinking, we're going to delve into this key principle that literally makes up the law of thinking. Okay. Now, one of the things I do know. In fact, if you're writing notes or just at the same time, just listen to this as you, as you drive or maybe just kind of happen upon this YouTube channel. <laughs> Either way, I do want to amplify something that has been life changing for me. Many of you have heard me talk about it before, and it happens to be the role of your self-talk. Because I have no doubt in my mind that self-talk can really make a huge difference with the way that you think. Okay, quick story. So for many years, I literally thought, before I, before I got into the entrepreneurial space, I did not think that I had what it took to become an entrepreneur. So once I got started in 2009, um, <laughs> in fact, the first three years of my business, I was not doing that well. In fact, my, my financial planner, my tax guy, he said to me in 2000, the end, of, the end of 2013, he said, Steve, he said, buddy, if you don't start making any money at this business, the IRS is going to consider you just having a good hobby. <laughs> okay. Now, what was going on with me? I'll be honest with you. My thinking, my, the law of thinking was there for me, but I was not taking advantage of it. I was not applying the principles of rethinking, rethinking the way I want to do a business because I had been more conditioned to working for somebody else, working for an organization, working for a company. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that because it's not. But I'm just saying, I, I made a change. I, tr I transitioned from working in the corporate space, I have my own company, but I did not have the thinking, the mindset that would allow me to really hit that business and to hit it running. Instead of running, I was walking real, real slow, <laughs> okay? And so again, it had a lot to do, number one, with the power of my own belief. Number two, I was attracting on the outside what I was thinking on the inside. And number three, I was actually saying things. For an example, if I felt like a failure, if I did something that, that I failed at or, or made mistakes, I put voice to that. And I will never forget 2014 when a mentor, a, a guide from the side said to me, he gave me two Two principles I want to share with you that was a life-changing, it was transformational for me. 
as far as making that shift, okay? Here's what he said. Number one, he said, Steve, be light on yourself. So if you're watching me today, if you listen to this video, I want to encourage you right now. Some of you who are watching me need to hear that. From this day forward, choose to be light on yourself. All right. So you're probably thinking, well, Steve, at the same time, you don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've come from. You don't know what I'm going through right now. And I do not. But here's what I do know. That if you decide, you can literally make a decision starting right now. In fact, let me give you three words that also changed my life. Up until now. Up until now. Up until now, those three words that when you, when you declare them as an intent, they literally can help you to change courses. For an example, gang, did you know it takes a, um, you know, <laughs> my first cruise was in 2008 in one of those big old ships. And I found out that back then in 2008, that it literally takes seven miles for a cruise ship to turn around and go in the opposite direction. So whenever the captain gives the, the rule, whenever the captain gives the order that we're going to turn this ship around and go back from, from, uh, to where we came from, it literally takes that ship seven miles to finally make that turn. But once it makes that turn, that ship now is prepared and ready to move in a new direction. Up until now is your way as, a, as the captain of your life. You're declaring that you're getting ready to move your life in a whole different direction. But be, be reminded, it may take time, but it's worth the trip. It's worth the journey to see your ship turn around for something better. The law of thinking, okay? So number one. He said to me, be light on yourself. Number two, Steve, stay away from self-judgment. If you're watching me, I want to encourage you, stay away from self-judgment. Les Brown, another mentor of mine, I was on a meeting with Les Brown in 2013, and I will never forget when he said this. He was speaking to the, whole, the, the, the entire audience, but I took it as if he was talking directly to me. He said, if you've done something in your life that you're not proud of, he said, thinking about it over and over and over again is just, is just another way of crucifying yourself over and over again for something that you did. He said this, he said he, he was talking to a young lady who had committed, had, had an abortion when she was a teenager. By this time, she's in her 40s and she's still feeling regret because of the abortion. And he said to her, he said, why would you crucify yourself for something you did a long time ago? She said, what do you mean? He said this. He said, would you, with the awareness that you have now, the knowledge that you have now, and the skill set that you have now, would you do the same thing at 41 that you did at 16? She said, oh, no, not at all. He said, well, live into, live into that part of you. Live into the part of you that has gotten better instead of crucifying the part of you that has come to pass, <laughs> okay? It's all about your mindset, right? It's all about the way you think about it. So again, two things. Be light on yourself and stay away from self-judgment. Now, real quickly, as I close out, I want to encourage you with this because what, what about those moments when those negative thoughts creep in? I want to give you a strategy and a technique that you can use for overcoming that negativity and shifting towards a more positive mindset. Number one, visualize the life that you want. Visualization happens to be a potent tool when it comes to harnessing the, the, law, the law of thinking, okay? So the more you visualize what you really want. In other words, take, take, time, take, take time out to visualize, to, to, visual, to visually see. In other words, to imagine a life that is different from where you are now. Now, just the other day, I was talking to a group about coaching and about coaching yourself. And one of the things I said to them, it was so profound because I gave, I gave, I gave a whole outline on how to coach yourself, okay? <laughs> what I mean by that is by turning your inner critic into your inner coach. In other words, make, make your mind up to that starting today, you're going to be lighter on yourself and stay away from self-judgment. And, 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 and again, be, be done with constantly criticizing yourself. You and I can literally turn that inner, uh, that inner critic's voice into your inner coach. So I want to end 
by giving you this one question that has been, for the past three years, a question that has helped me to visualize, to imagine a different life that I want to see manifested. And I also shared it with the group on yesterday as another question you can add in your own reflection time when you are coaching yourself and not criticizing yourself. And here's the question. What would I love? What would I love? What would I love in my relationships right now? What life would I love with my health? What life would I love in my time and money freedom? In fact, let me take a time out and tell you this. Some future videos I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to do a whole series on daring to dream again. <laughs> You're going to love it, okay? You're going to really love that, those videos. But real quickly, what would I love? in the area of my vocation? What would I love in my business? If you could, when you answer that question, what would I love? My friend, what would it take to tap into this amazing process and this picture that you have in your mind of what you want your life to look like for the rest of this year? Know this, everything is created twice. First in thought and then secondly in form. I know without a doubt, my friend, that this is going to be your year. If you would take heed to be extremely intentional on tapping into the law of thinking, this could be the year that you see some amazing results like you've never seen before. Thank you so very much.